Good morning, class. Did everyone have a nice weekend? Yes, Miss Sinclair. Sinclair! Who wants to tell the class about their weekend? Yes, Lori? On Saturday, I had a soccer game, and my team won, and I assisted on the winning goal. Well, that is exciting. Anyone else? Uh, Adam. I went to my cousin's house, and they showed me their new tree house. It's two stories tall. That sounds awesome. Um... Emma, what about you? You didn't put your hand up. What did you do this weekend? I spent all week looking forward to Saturday because that's the day that Kawaii Unicorn said that she was going to have a Roblox meetup. But then when I went online, nobody was there. I was really disappointed. Oh no, I can understand why that would be disappointing. Did you check the time? Yeah, I checked the time. It was supposed to be at 10 in the morning and I went on at 10 in the morning and she wasn't there. Well, did you check to make sure you had the right time zone? Was it time zone? I think I know what went wrong. Don't worry, Emma. I'm going to reschedule this morning's lesson so that we can learn about time zones. And I don't think you're going to have to worry about missing Roblox meetups ever again. Yay! So who here has family or friends that live in a different country? Yes, Adam? I have a cousin that lives in England. Excellent. Anyone else? I have an auntie who lives in Australia. Wonderful. Now, did you know... That at the very same moment that you are eating your breakfast on Monday morning, your cousin in England has already finished school for the day? And your auntie in Australia is fast asleep in her bed because it's very early in the morning on Tuesday. Okay, how is that possible? Okay, we're going to watch a quick video that'll explain everything. As the Earth rotates on its axis, light travels from the sun and shines onto one side of the Earth, creating daytime. If it's daytime where you live, that means it must be nighttime somewhere else. If the time was the same everywhere in the world, then some kids would have to go to school when it's dark outside and sleep all day while it's sunny. And that just wouldn't make any sense. To make things easier, people decided to divide the world into different areas called time zones. Some big countries, like America, have six different time zones. That means when it's three o'clock in the afternoon in Los Angeles, it's already six o'clock in New York. Let's look at what's happening around the world during one minute. It's 7 a.m. on Friday morning in San Diego, and Jordan is trying to get ready for school. Oh no, I'm gonna be late! It's 10 a.m. in Washington, D.C., and almost time for recess. Teo will have to give his presentation tomorrow. Yes! Across the ocean, it's 3 p.m. on Friday afternoon in London, England, and Kat is having her after-school snack. You can stay for a cup of tea if you'd like. It's midnight in Tokyo, Japan, and Akira is watching YouTube videos very quietly on his phone, hoping that his parents don't hear. Akira? That better not be a phone I hear. It's not. And down in Melbourne, Australia, it's 2 a.m. in the morning on Saturday. Maddie is wide awake thinking of all the exciting things she's going to do on the weekend. All right, so let's talk about what happened in that video. Does anyone have any questions? Yes, Lori. So does that mean that if I want to play Minecraft with my cousin that moved away, that we might have to figure out what time it is here and what time it is there? Yes, that's right. If they didn't move very far away, then you might still be in the same time zone. But if they move to a different country, or e even to the other side of America, then you'll almost definitely need to deal with time zones. But how am I supposed to figure out what time it is somewhere else? I'm just a kid. All right, I'm going to show you a really easy trick so you can always figure out what time it is in different places. I'll show you on my laptop. So Emma, what time did Kawaii Unicorn tell you the Roblox meetup was going to be? She said it was at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Perfect. So first you need to open up www.google.com. I think you all know how to do that on your phone, tablet, or laptop. So here's what we need to do. So we've opened up Google, and then we type into Google, if it's 10 a.m. Pacific time, what time is it in? And then we need to type the name of the city that you live in. So let's say that we live in Miami. So we've typed in, if it's 10 a.m. Pacific time, what time is it in Miami? And then look, it tells you what time it is in Miami right at the top. So it's 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Whoa, cool. Now, I heard that Kawaii Unicorn has a gaming month coming up in the month of February and that there's gonna be a bunch of Roblox meetups. So this information might be very important. If you forget how to figure out time zones, just remember you can always watch this video again. I can't believe Miss Sinclair knows about Kawaii Unicorn's gaming month. She's the coolest teacher ever.